Well, Tubes, how is she going today? Pretty good here. Um, just sitting in the Jeep here, going to give her a little bit of a grimy start because I don't think it's been it's been a month or so maybe since she started. So holy, but uh, we'll give her some priming. I don't know. I think it needs a new fuel pump, but. Uh, See, that should have gone by then. So I think the fuel's actually leaking back into the tank out of the fuel thingy there. So it's got to try to pump it all back up again, right? Whoa, there she goes. Sort of not too happy, but oh, fired right up. Well, pretty good, but uh, I'll let her sit here a minute, charge the battery a little bit maybe and stuff. Seems to be pretty good battery in it though, so can't really drive it though because I got a tire almost flat again on the front there. But uh, anyways, we're gonna head down to the garage and do a bit of work. Well, I figured I'd get the stupid little uh, whatchamacallum thingy out here and uh, get her filled up a bit more. I can drive it at least, but I uh, don't know. Uh, someday there and uh, get uh, the tire pulled off pull it apart and see what's going on in there so must have run over something or something so but anyways we're here we're gonna work on the uh, what you might call it uh, oh, sorry for the finger give you the finger holy we're gonna work on the uh, freaking uh, bucket for this thing today just went for a little quick tour here around too before I went into the garage want to see something funny watch this ready Very funny, hold on. It still wasn't very funny. Man, sorry. Oh, frig, yeah, tubes. So I got the bucket back on the tractor. It seemed to be the best for, you know, holding it, maneuvering it, and getting her different angles for welding better and stuff, eh? So check out the frickin' filler rods. Oh, nice. Works good. Oh, until you do that. Oh. There, we're gonna weld those lots and uh, you know fill in all the gaps here and stuff and uh, it's gonna save me having to you know cut and bang down that uh, the bend there eh? so I wasn't uh, too big concerned about that so we'll get things in line here get the welder going and uh, hopefully I don't run out of wire in the welder I know it's probably getting down but uh, I got another roll in there I think just in case so uh, yeah we're gonna work on this and uh, I'll give you updates as we go Okay, tube. So right now you're looking at the inside of the bucket, and I just want to show you this side of the welding, and uh, you'll be able to see uh, how much heat I'm getting through the metal, and it's uh, how much uh, what you call it I'm getting into the metal. So here we go. Alrighty, and that's what we're getting. So it's pretty good penetration there, I think. Uh, 
So we got a weld underneath here too, you know, and then that should uh, lock that up pretty solid. I'm filling the odd little hole and stuff, you know, we'll clean her up and stuff. And I might even slap, uh, uh, maybe even slap another bead on, you know, like a, not, not a whole one, but like a brrr, and then a brrr, you know, leave a space or something just afterwards kind of thing. So, but we're doing good. She's working, working awesome. There we go. We got that side glued on. That's a pretty nice looking well too, eh? Wow, hey, I'm impressing myself. But uh, I'm definitely going to be slapping in like, you know, another, what, uh, two or so inch wells every, you know, three or four miles or something just to reinforce a bit, eh? But uh, smelling pretty warm, so I thought it'd cool her down a bit. Oh, got some wire still, so that's good. But uh, maybe we'll just keep going until she times out. Well, we got it a flashing. It's pretty good. Had her maxed out, though, you know, just giving her. But uh, she, she, she's working good. We got her all finished, both duties, and uh, she was just starting into there, and then whoop, that was it. She had enough, so we got this all done here and stuff, so she's looking good. It's warm. Maybe out there it starts to get really warm, so that's getting a lot of heat penetration, I think. I think she should be good. She should be good. But uh, we'll have to let that uh, chill out a bit, and look. Freaking raining again. The tractor's getting all wet. Oh man, I left the windows down on the tractor. Ah, oh, frig. Oh well. But, uh, oh man. The rain just in the last couple of weeks has just been stupid. Like every day. I think from England or something. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just let her, let her rain. Not much we can do. So, uh, we'll let this sit for a few, I guess, and uh, come back and uh, finish up this little bit of hole here. I'd really like to get uh, that filled in too, but I uh, haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do there yet. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't really want to just start laying beads in and laying beads in. That's going to waste a lot of wire. But uh, I think that'd be pretty strong then. But uh, looks like we're still pretty good there. So, I don't know. We'll see how much further we can get. We'll check if we got another roll. Yeah, we're good. We got another roll, so not too worried. But I guess in the meantime, I can get thinking about my cutting edge here and what I want to do with that. So, uh... We're gonna be a bit short, I guess, with this length I got here, but uh, I guess, you know, I could also just weld her in there and then uh, just chop the other bit off the front. You know, it's not gonna make a huge difference. We got, uh, what, this is six. Oh, come on, left hand work. Six, so if we weld it right in there. Yeah, we're only going to lose, you know, a hair. We're going to lose a couple inches there. I don't know, eight, six, seven, yeah, about two inches, so I don't know. It might not be too bad. Maybe I'll get her clamped in there where I'm thinking it looks pretty good, and then uh, we'll just kind of see how we're looking. Well, I got it just sort of sitting there. I don't have it uh, uh, actually clamped there, but the clamps are just sort of holding it, so slip through here, and I uh, just want to flip it up, stop it now, just want to flip her up here a bit, let's see uh, how I'm liking the layout of that, get her too much of an angle here, but okay, all right. I don't know, tubes. I don't know. It would be uh, pretty beneficial probably to have that extra two inch, you know. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, I don't know. I guess, you know, I could cut that two inch thing and then just ground the edges of this off really good. And then on the other side and then put it together and then just run a bead right through there, you know. Should be strong, should be good and strong there. And of course, welder, like frig down there. Well, it's only a two inch piece, but then this will get welded in there, right? Once we kind of a bit. But, uh, you know, I think I might just do that. I might just do her. And, oh well. Okay, so now we're moving inside. I forgot almost about that side, but uh, we're gonna just load her in here too. 
so we're doing good so far. It's getting good penetration, I feel, and uh, we'll do one there, and then uh, I'll have to tilt her up a bit more, and then we'll uh, do one uh, kind of on the other side there too, and do both of them all together. So she is looking pretty good, but uh, we're uh, gonna just see how far we can go here. I think I'm gotta be running out of wire soon. Holy! But uh, I don't know. Still, still looks good. So, but it's weird because all of a sudden, boom, you're out. Oh man, I was doing awesome. Got her all finished. Got this done. One little wee speck there left. Zip. She thermoed out on me again. <laughs> That's pretty good though, you know, because I'm still giving her. So it's pretty decent. But uh, I don't know, that might be her for today, I guess. Let's just uh, maybe fold this back up here instead of one tubes. Yeah, I guess maybe we'll cut her off today, tubes and stuff. It's sort of getting on the day. It's sort of cruddy and cold and crappy out here, but what's new, eh? But uh, maybe I'll leave that with you guys. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should just weld the uh, cut and weld that um, cutting edge on and just put her on just like that? Or should I add that other two inch piece on? Leave a comment. So I'm thinking if you look at this thing here, um, that's not, of course, full out uh, open yet, but. Uh, that's going to give me a lot more nice open for scraping down the backs of the hole, right? So that'll be awesome. That'll that'll actually technically open up your bucket more. It'll give you more angleage. So I don't know. I just think he had the wrong angle on it. It's too too tight. But um, she should be good. I think we're going to be freaking liking this when we get her going here. But uh, we're still uh, beeping here on the light dewy. So I guess we'll we'll call it a day for today and uh, head up and edit this up and stuff and. Well, I can see it, but I don't think the camera will pick it up, but uh, you can see like the heat waves coming up through. I think the camera will get that. Doubt it. Yeah, probably not. Pretty sweet though. Okay, Tube, so that's really hot. One little thing I wanted to do uh, before we say good day is I um, want to do a little shout out for... Uh, uh, give me a shout out if you remember, haha. <laughs> Danny Wardla or Wardley Ward Ward I, I failed like like speech speeching and stuff so you know if I got it wrong I do apologize but uh, anyways he's got a YouTube channel as well and uh, sorry Danny I really apologize it's all the pressure looking at the camera um, he's from Northwest England friggin sweet place uh, YouTube user Dave's Farm Dozer, and I don't believe he's related to Dave Dave Rock. So, but uh, not being maybe way over in England, but uh, probably Dave's Farm uh, fan too, you know, and stuff. So, and he also says I'm a big, big Bills T-Max fan. Ha ha, freaking right. So yeah, sorry, sorry, Danny. I uh, do apologize if I uh, freaking got your name wrong there. But uh, Wardley, Wardla, Wardle. One of those 18 I just said there. But uh, anyways, uh, if you guys want to go check them out, uh, Dave's Farm Dozer, all one word, of course, you know. So, freaking right, freaking right, uh, Dave's Farm Dozer. Danny, almost forgot your name again. See that? Oh, frig, I got to get home. But anyways, Tubes, have a freaking good day and stuff, and uh, we'll get working on this bucket a bit more in the end of the day or so or uh, whatever. And um, I think I am almost out of wire there. I did look, and I can almost see where it's pinched and going into the side of the spool so I think we're almost done but we might get a, a little bit more going put my iPhone back in we might get a little bit more uh, welding on this uh, before she runs out so but uh, we got uh, we got a spare so we're good so um, still raining what do you say but uh, anyways probably raining in England too hey eh, Danny <laughs> no doubt but uh, anyways tubes uh, have a good uh, freaking night and stuff and thanks for watching and uh, Stay tuned, we'll be uh, doing some more in this bucket here, and then hopefully we'll get to get back to that thing there, because i got to get that thing uh, finished up and painted and sent out of the freaking here so I get my tractor back in before the snow flies. So uh, I've got lots to do and not little very much time to do her. So anyways, Tubes, uh, that is a big bird. But anyways, uh, have a good night and stuff, and uh, like I say, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. We'll, we'll get some more work on this here soon, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Have a good day.